Hi guys. In this session, this session is related to the previous session where we have discussed that Mr. John is working in a company and he is having three sites, London, Oxford and Leeds and he need to record the document expires. So, for example, if vehicle license is getting expired or driving license is getting expired, so he should be able to see those records and act upon the expiries rather than to go through the manual sheets and on a daily basis then identify which records are getting expired and later on pay the fines. So if you remember I'll just show you that this was the last step which we, where we have created different tables employee document and then document type table issuing authority and site table. So let's start creating these tables. First of all, we'll create document table. Okay, doc ID. Okay, so you can see doc ID. Description. Doc number. I have just minimized, reduced the screen width so that we can see. Employee ID, dog type ID, issue date, expiry date. authority ID and site ID so here now you can see that in access we have document table doc ID auto number description short text doc number these are numbers employee ID should be number doc type ID number issue date date expiry date date issuing authority ID should be number site ID should be number because these are all for these as I, I have explained in my previous session so we'll close this table okay very good now we have created first table now what we'll do that will create these tables Create table, go to design view, we'll give it a name, doc type, doc type ID, doc name, or doc type name. Save and close. Create another table. authority authority ID authority name you can see here this one is primary key close this table now we need to create site table Site ID, site name, close, create another table, employee. So employee ID, employee name. Save and close. Okay, so these all tables are created now. Let's see, database tools, now create a relationship, double click on each table to add into relationship window. Okay, so, so far we have achieved this one. Now we link the tables. 
dog type id link with dog, dog type id okay and force referential integrity which means by default whenever any data is entered into document table for the document type it will look into dog type table whether that data exists or not okay so relationship type one to many you can see here create employee id with the employee id create okay issuing authority id issuing authority id create side id with side id okay that's good now so far what we have done that we have created tables as we have discussed in my previous session we have defined different fields and then field type also and then linking the tables with each other with by having one to many relationships so this is all about for this session in the next session we'll be looking at to create forms and then we'll be analyzing further the database because sometimes user is giving you the requirements in simple english words english spanish or whatever so he will be giving you his requirements in a normal manner but keeping in mind the databases we need to think now and think and analyze as well that how the database will work and how can we give more convenience to the user so stay tuned for my next session see you in next session and we'll be going a further uh, ahead in these sessions have a nice day thank you very much